Welcome back to Clips Recap. In today's movie, we'll be talking about a 2018 American comic movie titled Vernum. Spoilers ahead. Take a sit back and enjoy. The movie begins with a spaceship exploring space for new habitable worlds, carried out by a bioengineering corporation called Life Foundation. While exploring, they come across some symbiotic life forms. Then, while returning to Earth with four samples of the symbiotic life forms, the spaceship accidentally crashes in East Malaysia, and one sample specimen escaping, using the body of one astronaut in the spaceship, thereby killing the paramedics team driver that was conveying him to the hospital and switch body from the astronaut to a nurse and the ambulance attending to him. The Life Foundation recovers the other three remaining specimen and transports them to their research facility in San Francisco, California where they find out the symbiote cannot survive without oxygen-breathing host, of which, after different trials, the host fatally rejects the symbiote. Investigative journalist Eddie Brock reads about these symbiotic trials in a classified document in the possession of his fiancée and weighing while she was asleep at night. Eddie eventually interviews and confronts the Life Foundation CEOs, Carlton Drake about the trials of which eventually ended badly leading to both Eddie and Anne losing their jobs and Anne putting an end to their relationship. Six months later, Drake's symbiosis trials are closer to success after a series of trials on animal host, he then instructs his doctor. Dora Skirth began the trials on human beings, but she became afraid after a few failed trials on humans. Eddie sees Drake on TV in a bar and requests for it to be switched off, but gets into an argument with other people watching the show. He then heads out to his favorite supermarket to buy some groceries. Then he meets Maria and gives her 20 bucks for keeping his paper safe. The storekeeper Mrs. Chen tells him he looks like shit because he wasn't sticking to the advice she gave him on mental health. The storekeeper is confronted by a thug and collects all money made from sales at gunpoint. Eddie now broke and devastated searches different sigh for minimal jobs all to no avail. Few days later, Dr. Dora secretly follows Eddie to his favorite supermarket where he confronts her for secretly following him. She tells Eddie the truth about the symbiotic trials and wants him to help expose Drake's plan to the world. She then helps Eddie break into the research facility to search for evidence. There he meets his acquaintance named Maria, a homeless woman he usually meet at the door of his favorite supermarket, is one of the test subjects. Eddie attempts to rescue Maria, but the symbiote possessing her transfers to his body without him realizing, leaving her dead. Eddie escapes from the research facility after combating the security guards and hides on top of a tree. He soon begins displaying strange symptoms and characteristics, immediately he reached home. He reaches out to Anne for help, and her new boyfriend, Dr. Dan Lewis, discovers the symbiote on examining Eddie on an MRI machine. Drake questions Dr. Doris Skirth on who was the person that broke into the research facility after it was investigated that she brought someone into the research facility. She eventually tells Drake the name of the person she brought into the research facility. Drake exposes Dr. Dora to one of the captive symbiote, which ends killing the both. Drake sends mercenaries to retrieve the symbiote back from Eddie, but it manifests around his body as a monstrous creature that fights off the attackers and then escapes through the window. Eddie goes to where his bike is parked and then tries to flee from the mercenaries only to be bombarded by missiles from drones. Eddie eventually transforms to Vernum and eats the head of man who was shooting at him, before he then flees via a nearby water body. Later on after the attack the symbiote introduces itself to Eddie as Venom and explains that his planet are searching for planets where the symbiotes can possess and devour the inhabitants. Venom offers to spare Eddie if he helps the symbiotes achieve their goal. Eddie breaks into his old workplace after he was denied access in by the security guard, which was his friend to turn in evidence of Drake's crimes he got previously from the research facility to give it to his ex-boss to publish. On his way out is surrounded by SWAT officers, Eddie tells the SWAT team that they shouldn't engage in a fight for their own betterment, but is forced to transform into Venom, thereby killing the whole SWAT team officers. And witnesses this transformation and then confronts Eddie who tries to explain to her that he's been affected by a parasite and can't seem to control it when he transforms. And takes Eddie back to Louise's office in her car. Vernum tells Eddie he likes Anne because she seems kind and tells Eddie to apologize to her for making her lose her job of which Eddie does. When they got to the hospital, Dr. Lewis shows Eddie the result from the previous MRI scan and says he's never seen anything of that nature before. He also explains that the symbiote is slowly rotting Eddie's internal organs, although Venom claims that the organ damage can be reversed. Eddie further explains that the symbiote has two weaknesses, high-pitched noises and fire. 
and uses the aid of a distraction and switches on the MRI machine and separates Eddie from the symbiote and is locked up. Eddie immediately heads out of the hospital and is captured by Drake's men at the elevator. Anne and Dr. Louis engages in a little argument and later notices the symbiote is missing. Meanwhile, the fourth symbiote, Riot, makes its way to San Francisco, California from Malaysia by transferring from body to body. Eventually bonds with Drake from the body of a young school girl he met in the research facility. Riot bonds with Drake, who agrees to take Riot in a Life Foundation spaceship to collect the rest of the symbiotes and bring them to Earth. Eddie is interrogated by both Drake and Riot. Riot asks about the whereabout of Vernum, but Eddie doesn't know. Drake instructions his men to kill Eddie. Vernum bonds into the body of a patient's little dog and transfers into Anne's body to help save Eddie. Anne kisses Eddie and Vernum transfers to Eddie's body. Vernum instructs Anne to go home, but she refuses. Riot and Drake are set to launch the spacecraft, but is interrupted by Eddie and Vernum. Vernum tells Eddie to be vigilant because Riot's very fast and strong. They engage in combat with Riot, getting the best hits at Vernum, and eventually both parties separates from their host due to the high-pitched noise and switched on. Drake bonds with Riot again and stabs Eddie then gets on the spaceship. Vernum bonds with Eddie again and destroys the spaceship, killing Drake and Riot in the process. A few days later Eddie meets Anne and they spend some time together talking. She consoles him on the death of Vernum, unknown to her Vernum is still alive. Eddie asks her about the kiss, but she denied saying it was Vernum that caused it. She later says she misses Eddie but also denies saying it. Eddie leaves her and promises to check on her later. Vernum tells Eddie that he's hungry, but Eddie tells him that he can't go about eating people because they are also good people, but says he could eat the really bad ones. He then heads to his favorite supermarket and greets Mrs. Chen the storekeeper. She feels happy seeing Eddie. The thug who usually extorts money from her comes around again, and she begs him to stop of which he refuses. Vernum asks Eddie if he could eat the thug of which Eddie agrees. Eddie transforms to Vernum and get hold of the thug's gun. The thug begs for his life and out of fear asks who Vernum is, Eddie in unity with Vernum replies, We are Vernum. He then reaps up the head of the thug off and then heads out of the supermarket leaving Mrs. Chen surprised. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and turn on post notification.